What is up guys, Cruise Designs here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own Minecraft server so that you and your friends can play multiplayer Minecraft together. This does not require port forwarding. I know that is a problem a lot of people have, uh, forwarding the ports. It can be quite tricky, but this way it does not require you to forward your ports. Once you've set up your server, you and your friends will be able to connect by coming to multiplayer and then typing in the IP address of your server to connect to it. Then you can just press connect and you can all play multiplayer Minecraft together. So uh, let's go for the first step. Uh, you want to come to Log Me in Hamachi. This is the first website. Uh, all the website URLs uh, I use in the tutorial will be in the description, all the links. So you want to come to Unmanaged. Make sure you tick the box to agree to conditions of use and click Download Now. You want to save the file. Once it's downloaded, you can double click it and click Run. This will run the setup. Towards the end of the setup, make sure you tick the box Create a Desktop Shortcut for ease of access. Once you've downloaded Logme and Hamachi, then want to come to MC Admin. This is the Minecraft server software that you will use to create your server, and it's an alternative to the default software offered on the Minecraft website. So at the very bottom of the page, you get the link here. Click that. And you will need a WinRAR or WinZip to open this file. You want to come to Save File, click OK, and then double click it, and it will open this. There are four files here. You want to highlight them and extract to uh, either your desktop or a folder on your computer. Desktop will be easier, but I am going to extract them to a new folder called MC Admin. Okay, right, we've downloaded the two pieces of software. Now, the first piece of software we're going to open is Logme and Hamachi. So, if you did not create a desktop shortcut, come to Start, Run, and type in Log, and it should be one of the first programs. So, we're going to click that. When you first open it, it will look like this. You will be offline, uh, there will not be an IP address here and you won't have any connections. To start Logme and Hamachi, click the power button, power on, and this will start setting up Logme and Hamachi. So it takes a little while, and I'll be back when it's finished connecting. Okay guys, I'm back, it's finished connecting again. Now, uh, you won't have this connection, and I'll I'm also going to blur out my IP address because I don't want everybody joining my server. But the first thing you're going to want to go to is network, create a new network. Now you need to type in a network ID and a password. Uh, it doesn't really matter what this is, but make sure it's easily rememberable. Rememberable, I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> uh, I'll type in cruise designs. Make sure it's easy to remember. Okay, Cruise Designs, create. So once you've created this, um, this is the connection that all your friends will connect to. So that, uh, this is instead of port forwarding. So what your friends need to do is download Logme and Hamachi as well. And instead of going to create a new network, they will come to join an existing network. Because you've created the network, they now need to join your network. So they come to join an existing network and you need to give them your network ID and password with which they need to connect to. Okay, so mine is Cruise Designs and Cruise Designs. And then they click Join. I'm going to click Cancel. Uh, once they have joined, that is it. They are connected to you, and that is basically port forwarding done. Uh, once they've connected to you, they don't need to reconnect, you are permanently connected and neither of you need to open up Hamachi ever again. Before you close it, however, make sure you make a note of your IP address which will appear up here. Make a note of that because that is what you and your friends will connect to. That is what you will type in in the IP server box. So, once we've done that, you can 
close LogMe and Hamachi. Uh, now we need to open up MC Admin. So we're going to find the folder I saved it in. Here it is, MC Admin. And you will have four files. The file you want to click on is the MC Admin file with the little MC Admin logo. When you double click that, a black box will appear here. That doesn't matter, you can close that and you will get this message. Or well, the black box will close itself actually. You'll get this message, a donation message. You can just click no thanks, that's fine. And you'll get the welcome to MC admin message. Uh, if you are running a private server, I suggest you untick all of these so that it does not appear in the server global list. And you want to type in the name of your server. Cruise server and you need to put in your minecraft you need to put in your minecraft in-game name here i'm just going to leave that blank so you can click confirm now before you start your server you need to come to server props click here and here is the ip address option you need to drop this down and set it to the ip address that logme and hamachi gave you the IP address that was at the very top of the window so I'm going to click that and you can also change some settings here such as enable and disable monsters animals and player versus player you can change the max number of players whether you want netherworld default rank and other options once you have set that up I'm just going to enable some stuff here put max players down to two if it's just you and your friend and then click save now the very last step is to click start you will see down here it is preparing spawn area got to wait for it to load and now it says it's done you can come over to Minecraft, type in the IP address Logme and Hamachi gave you, and connect to your server. It's as simple as that. And now every time you want to connect, that is all you have to do. Type in, uh, type in the IP and connect. If you turn off your computer, make sure you, before you turn off your computer, you press stop. And then when you turn your computer back on, you need to start the server again. So I'm going to stop mine for now. One problem you may, that may occur for you is your antivirus or internet security blocking Minecraft connections. I can't show you for every single antivirus out there, but mine is ESET Smart Security. And every time I want to connect to my Minecraft server, I have to come to Setup, Personal Firewall, and Disable Filtering, Allow All Traffic. This will allow all traffic, including Minecraft connections. If I do not enable that, I cannot connect, and if you don't do the same, uh, your antivirus may block you from connecting. So that's pretty much it, uh, how to set up a Minecraft server without port forwarding easily. All your friends need to do is download Logme and Hamachi, connect to your Hamachi connection, and you give them the IP, and you can all connect. So I hope this tutorial has helped. Uh, please subscribe for more videos and tutorials. This is Cruise Designs. I hope this was helpful to you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. One other thing I forgot to show you guys is the server in action uh, to prove that it works. This is straight after I just stopped that other recording. I'm just going to show you. I've typed in the IP address and I have blurred it out so that you guys can't connect to it. I'm going to press connect and there we go. Connected almost instantly and MC Admin by default uh, renders a random world, completely random. If you would like a tutorial on how to import custom maps into your Minecraft server, so you can play stuff like Survival Island and The Lost Temple with your friends, just leave a comment and if I get enough comments then I'll make one. So I hope this has helped, as I said again, please comment, rate and subscribe, this is Cruise Designs. Thank you for watching.